Grace, thanks. And this morning's Health Watch, fall is coming soon, and that also means that it's time to get your flu vaccine. Here to talk with us about what you should do is Todd Chesney, who's a Minute Clinic nurse practitioner. Thanks so much for joining us this morning, Todd. Yes, thank you for having me. All right, getting right to it. Why is it important for folks out there to get the flu shot this year, more so than years past? Yeah, great question. So, you know, the, the flu shot remains the number one way to uh, uh, help you prevent and, and those around you from, from getting the flu. Uh, we're stressing this more than ever this year uh, because we wanna keep our already stressed uh, hospital, emergency rooms, inpatient care, critical care beds. We really need to uh, try to keep those uh, uh, open as possible to, uh, you know, from flu related illness to be able for those nurses and doctors to concentrate on uh, COVID related illnesses. Uh, annually, flu related hospital hospitalizations range anywhere from 400 to 750,000 um, admissions per year. And um, so uh, just that would be uh, that would be challenging if uh, hospitals had to kind of mitigate those individuals with flu and uh, COVID-19. All right. And how young is too young to get the flu vaccine? Uh, yes, so the uh, so the the CDC or Center for Disease Control they recommend that everyone six months or older get their uh, flu vaccine. Uh, in particular, senior citizens, pregnant mothers, those with chronic diseases and uh, immunocompromised states, they're at a, at a even higher risk for the flu. So uh, six months and up, uh, everyone should get their flu shot uh, on an annual basis. Um, for doctors and medical experts to differentiate between the flu and COVID-19? Yeah, great question. Uh, and the answer is yes, it's definitely going to be challenging because the uh, the symptoms of, uh, of COVID and of the flu are very similar, including fever, body aches, chills, sore throat, and nasal congestion. Uh, so if, uh, if you experience any of those symptoms, it, it's going to be even more important this year to seek evaluation from a medical professional so you can receive proper testing and care. Now, what viruses does the flu vaccine protect against? So the seasonal flu vaccine protects against the influenza viruses that uh, the, um, the, the, the researchers and scientists predict each year that's going to be the most, uh, the most common um, uh, flu viruses uh, for, for the upcoming flu season. Uh, the quadrivalent vi uh, flu vaccine that uh, that we offer at CVS and CVS Clinic protects against four different flu strains, uh, two types of influenza A and two types of influenza B. Uh, some some flu vaccines protect against two and three strains. Um, and while the flu vaccine won't pre prevent COVID, uh, there are many other important benefits, including reducing the risk of illness, hospitalization, and death due to uh, potentially severe complications that can occur when you have the flu. And when a COVID vaccine or COVID-19 vaccine is released, will it be safe to take both the vaccine for that as well as the flu vaccine? Yes, it, it will be safe, but they, they those vaccines will not be combined into one vaccine. So there'll be separate vaccines. Uh, and that's another reason why it's important to go ahead and get your flu vaccination sometime in the next few weeks uh, before flu season uh, starts and there's going to be, you know, a really high demand for the COVID vaccines. And has your clinic already started preparing for um, just how to juggle the COVID vaccine as well as the flu vaccine? Um, yes, uh, and it, it's our hope that patients are, like I said, will, will receive their flu shot in September or early October before flu season and before a COVID-19 vaccine is made available in hopefully early 2020. Uh, this way, our, our clinics will be free to focus on providing uh, the COVID-19 vaccine to a large volume of patients uh, uh, without having that, in, that increased demand for, for flu shots and, and taking care of a lot of flu-related illnesses. And I know that you've said it once, but I'll get you to say it again. Uh, the best time to get your flu shot is when? Um, the best time to get your flu shot is now, or uh, definitely in the month of September, early October. Uh, for those reasons I just stated about, you know, getting immunized before flu season begins. And, and once you get the flu shot, it does take a couple of weeks for your body to build up immunity um, uh, for, to the flu. So, so go ahead and get that taken care of as soon as you can.
Some very helpful information. Thanks so much. That's Todd Chesney with the Minute Clinic there. Thank you for all of that information this morning.